Wingardi Leviosa! Oh, one minus Fox and Ryan Till. They get Emmett Fox. I love this one, but I also want to get that Elder one. But um, I just saw the fandom event of the, uh, what is it? Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Uh, the Crimes of Grindelwald. Grindelwald. And, um... <laughs> this is a movie that, like... Okay, like, there's the thing. Like, I've seen... I was there when Harry Potter started. I watched it from the first movie on. I watched it up to the movie right before The Half-Blood Prince. And then I just stopped watching them. And then, like, I most recently just watched... The last couple ones, I probably shouldn't rewatch the entire series. I have all of them because I got for like Christmas. Um, but yeah, so like I've seen Harry Potter all the way through. Like some people say, like, oh, it's the Star Wars of this generation. I'm like, no, no, it's not. It's not. But, um, and mostly the reason why I think, like, at least for me, it never felt something like Star Wars and like that. It was because Star Wars felt more like. You're out in this world of Star Wars. You're out seeing all these things that this world kind of has to offer. Um, these heroes fighting on different planets and stuff like that. Even if, like, by that by that point, I've only seen the prequels. And now I've seen the original trilogy as well. As well as the newer series and the prequels all together. Um, and the animated series. Which I'll say, like, fudge, yeah, all those are freaking great. But Harry Potter never felt like that. To me, at least, it never felt anything close to something that would be, um, something that you could say would go up against Star Wars. This, I will say, has potential. I, me, myself, I have not even seen all of the first Fantastic Beasts. So I'll say right now, if there's something I get wrong, but there's things like, because this isn't the first movie, we don't need to introduce who Newt is. I know who Newt is. I know who his friend kind of is, that he's a mother, that he falls in love with a whiz, whiz, uh, witch, I guess, technically. Although it's funny thinking, like, nah, she's she's a wizard or something like that because I've seen The Chilling Tales of Sabrina. But I'm just like, you know what? I think that I will classify that more as witches <laughs> because that is, like, just straight, like, oh, yeah, no. They worship the devil. That's where they get their power from. <laughs> but um, this is different. This is just pure magic. They gain power from magic. But, um, yeah, like, uh, this move, this... This movie, what it starts out awesome with like um, Grindelwald being trapped in a, being trapped in like a, locked up after the events of the last movie, but then but then escaping and like there's a cool kind of scene like a carriage fight in the sky as he's trying to be as he's being transported, and basically the whole thing is like this entire movie and basically like the rest of the movie it doesn't really show him all that much. And it is, like, I'm not even really sure what half this stuff is. Like, you kind of see in the trailer, this movie, all it is, is set up for other movies. Which, I'll say, like, people got angry at The Mummy for doing that. I'm kind of hoping they get angry at this movie for doing that. Because this movie just feels like a part one of something. Not, not, not of the a quality of Avengers. Uh, Infinity War, which is basically part one of that, of, like, the Infinity War movies. That is part one. But this feels more like, again, I haven't really even seen, like, I guess how the Deathly Hallows were, like, nothing, I guess, happens to the first part of that entire thing. It is kind of just like, all right, we're doing it over here. Now we're over here. Now we're over here. Now we're, now we're going to actually do something. Wait till part two. Um, that's kind of what this feels like. Because this, there is all this building, like, all oh, Grinva. Like, there's, like, multiple stories going on. And I feel like if they would have also just stayed with one, it probably would have been better. Because you have, um, you have Newt, who's sent by Dumbledore to Paris to, uh, find the Obscurious boy again. Uh, which, I again, I haven't seen all the the first movie i only seen the second one or no i've seen well the second one yeah but um i've seen the i've seen the ending of part one so i know about the obscurious they're like oh it's 
if a wizard bottles up all their magic and stuff like that inside and like are told never to use it and like all that anger and regret, they become this obscurious, which is this freaking cool creature that like breaks apart like ash and stuff like and it's like super powerful and strong and it emotion they control my emotion. I'm like, that's freaking cool! And that might be one of my favorite things on Harry Potter alone. But um I always love like the you can turn to a monster kind of thing. It's kind of oh, it's, it's something that I always love. But um, this like he's Newt's trying to find him because he kn thinks that something bad's gonna happen. This guy apparently, I guess, joined the circus, a wizard circus, and got and broke his friend out, who's uh, gonna be Voldemort's snake later on. Which they say like, uh, her, well, Dratini is her name. And they can say, like, oh, yes, she has a blood curse, you see, which she got from Africa, South America. I don't know. Basically, she eventually, she can transform into a snake, but eventually she will never be able to change back. We'll be trapped as a snake forever, which I just got off of Altered Carbon, um, another Netflix show. And in that, like, someone does get put into the body of a snake and goes crazy, apparently, to the point where they can never be human again. Because, like, they'll just slip down on the ground and they just apparently go mad. I'm like, wow, that is terrifying. But, um... <laughs> but, yeah, so... Obscure's boy gets Dratini. Breaks her out. I'm not really sure why. I guess just because she's his friend. And... They escape. And they're trying to track down his origins. Because, again, he was, like, an orphan in the first one. So now he's trying to find his parents. And I feel like maybe we just followed him... It would have been kind of a better story because Newt, there's no reason for Newt to be in this story. Really, there is no reason. Nor even like um, his human friend, because his human friend comes back like in the beginning of the movie and like comes with the other girl and he's charmed apparently because we don't know why. Um, but his human friend and uh, the witch that he loves, they're like, oh yeah, we're going to get married and it's going to be great. And Newt's like, uh, why is he charmed? He's like, he's like, he's not charmed. Uncharmed, Newt's like, where am I? Which there is a fun, there is a really funny scene because like, Newt's like, I'm in London. You're or like, one well, uh, the girl runs away, and he's like, he's like, where am I? He's like, oh, you're in London. He's like, London. I always want to go to London. And leaves to go chase after the girl that his one the woman he loves. When apparently they're having problems because she wants to marry him. But he doesn't want to marry her, not because he doesn't love her, but because he knows that if they get married, she'll get thrown in jail. Which I'm like, yeah, that's kind of a big thing. Um, especially since Azkaban is apparently in jail. And if all jails are like that, whoo! But, um... But yeah, but then she, like, disappears. She's like, well, I'm angry. Zips away. He's like, okay, well, I guess I'm going to be with Newt now. Because whatever. And they're trying to track down the Obscurus boy. And trying to find out his origin. And I'm like, just follow the Obscurus kid. You know, we don't even need Newt in this story, basically. Because Newt is feels like a side character. He doesn't feel anything, like, big on it. Even Dumbledore, which they kind of build up in the trailer. is like, oh, Dumbledore's in this. He's in, like, maybe three scenes. Maybe four. And, like, it's, like, literally, come give Newt, uh, give Newt a uh, thing disappears is in class oh no 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 oh no you we knew you said newt there L uh, uh, wizard police L uh, puts little braces on it saying you can't teach you can't teach anymore walks away they leave and also we'll track any spell you use uh they leave comes back later on in like a flashback actually no five i'm sorry talks to the one girl which i guess newt fell in love liked in the first movie but married it hurt his brother but, and she might have feelings for him too, but she's, uh, she goes, oh, um, but yeah, there's that. And then Dumbledore's at the end where he's like, tell me more about this, Newt. Maybe I can destroy this blood pact I made with, um, Johnny Depp because this is the reason why I can't fight him because, uh, we're the only two most powerful wizards who can actually fight each other, but I can't fight him because of this blood pact I have. And also, Grindelwald has the Elder Wand because, I don't know. And here's the thing. 
like there is like just so much setup in this. It's like, oh, there's the magic mirror. Like in the beginning of this movie, even. In the beginning of this, and again, like the whole thing is like, oh, this obscure boy is trying to find his origins, trying to find out who he is. There's also that alchemist guy, which I feel like he was in, probably in the original, like, Order of the Phoenix, but I don't remember him. You see him in the trailers. And, like, he's only in it for, like, two scenes. Like, the like he pops in just right in, like, Hello, you're in my house. Oh, hi, how are you doing? And then, like, the next scene, he's, he's helping at the end when they're the climax of the movie, which it's not really a climax. I thought, like, okay, whatever. But, um... But yeah, this, this entire movie, like, for something called The Crimes of Grindelwald, he's barely in it, for one. He's, sorry, just in case this thing shuts off, because I probably have to shut off. He's barely in this movie, for one. Two, he had, makes no crimes other than maybe murdering some people to get their house. And that's about it. That's really about it. Um, all this feels like is build up. It's built up for the next movies, next five movies, apparently. That's ten. Five movies, apparently, which I'm just like, well, if this is your first one, you might go the same route as the Dark Universe and not get past in this movie. Then again, Harry Potter fans are loyal, so maybe they'll like, no, it's good, but it's not. It's not. Especially because, like, in the beginning, like, the beginning of this movie, like, they kind of like a vignette. They say, oh, yeah, like, the actors come like, oh, yeah, like, we just want to show you how this is all connected to the original story. Where they show, like, the mirror that Dumbledore looks into is the same mirror that Harry looked into, saw his parents. Um, that um, Grinwald was in the, Grinwald was who Voldemort met. Find, like, where's the Elder one? I'm like, oh, I didn't know that. Also, he doesn't have the same eye color in that one eye as he does in... The, that movie, but okay. And then, like, even, like, what was it? And I'm like, all right, also, spoilers, thank you for telling me he's alive. I didn't know that. Me, someone coming in who doesn't follow the Harry Potter mythos, all that, you know, much. I, what, now I know, yeah, Grindelwald's gonna be alive throughout all of this, as well as Dumbledore, I guess. Newt might die, maybe, probably not. Um, but yeah, Grindelwald's, yeah, a lot gonna be alive. And like, he's like, oh yeah, the 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 Deathly Hallows, the Triangle, Circle, and Wand, whatever, Wand, Stone, Cloak. Oh yeah, they make it build up like, oh yeah, this is gonna be in this. This is gonna be the the thing. Like this is gonna be like a like a big thing like this. We're gonna see like all these stuff. Like no, we don't no. Like all we see is the Elder Wand, and that's it. We don't. We never see the Invisible Cloak. We never see the Stone that lets us talk to the dead people. I'm guessing they're saving that for. The next couple movies. Which, I'm like, you know what? This movie could be cool. Especially since they, they tease, like, at the end of the movie, like, oh, yeah, the, the, the wizards want it, that Grindelwald wants to ha have the wizards take over, basically. Because if they don't, humanity is going to have World War II. And I'm like, you know what? This would be, a, that'd be cool to see a Harry Potter movie based in World War II. That would be cool. And on the flip note of that, um... What was it? What was it? Um, World War Two. What was it? Fudge me. I was thinking about it, but the whole idea of World War Two, like okay, that that'd be kind of cool. Wish you kind of would have started with that one instead, but whatever. We could have the crimes of Grindelwald. Maybe it'll happen like war crimes and stuff like that. I don't fucking know. Um. Yeah, Newt is not really a reason for here. Like, he has no reason to be in this. If you follow the Obscurus boy trying to find his, you know, past and stuff like that, I think that would have been a little bit strong because, like, we could have had, like, this whole, like, kind of spy through, like, why is he being covered up, who he is and stuff like that, what is happening, stuff like that. And when things are revealed, it's just, like, as a reveal, it's like, okay... Why the fuck do I care? Like, why do I care about these people? Like, oh, they, they're these things. Oh, um, maybe if I watched the first one, like, I would care more about certain things. But yeah, I, I really didn't care about most of the stuff. The coolest thing is, like, the twist at the end where they're like, when they do reveal who his actual parents are or who his family is. And it's like, 
okay, that's actually kind of cool seeing that stuff or the re re reveal. But in the end, it's just like, okay, but also, why do we need that other stuff? One person is just horrible. Like, why do we need half of... Why do we need half of this? Like, we could have just followed this kid as he's trying to slowly be revealed and stuff like that. We could have seen more with him, the Obscurus boy and, um... And, uh, uh, Dratini. We could have... I think that's... I, mean, I think that's just a Pokemon. But... <laughs> Those two together. I would have liked the movie where it was actually just those two together. You could have called it Fantastic Beasts Obscurus or something. Or just Obscurus. I feel like the only reason why they had named it Fantastic Beasts. Sorry. The only reason why they call it Fantastic Beasts is because um, like they were like, oh, well, we need like a title saying, oh, this is part of this stuff. Like, if you like Fantastic the First Beast, well, like this. Just put that as part of the Wizarding World and Harry Potter and people will go see it. You didn't need to have Newt in here because Newt has no reason for being in here. I feel like his story was probably told in the first movie. But yeah, like there's no reason for him to be there or his friend. Like the whole subplot with like the... His, sorry. The whole one of his human friend and this girl that he like This wizard that witch that he loves. And she like immediately leaves him like 10 minutes into the movie. And like says like, I'm just leaving. And just disappears. And I'm like... Why? Why did you even come here? Why did you even bring your the you? Why did you both go visit Newt if you're just gonna disappear to go find uh, this girl, like this girl that uh that Newt actually does like and stuff like that? And it's 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 dumb. There's some funny bits in it. Like again, like the guy's like, I always want to go to London, like all angry, but. There's some funny bits in it that made the crowd laugh, but there's just so much, like, it feels so much like a part one where, like, nothing happens. In the end, like, where there should be, like, a big battle, there really isn't. Is spoiler alerts, or, no, I'm not gonna spoil it, but, like, that's the best part of the movie, really. But, yeah, it's just, this movie is, like, honestly, a solid rental. This is something I would go see in Redbox. I'd wait for Redbox to go see this movie. This isn't something you need to see in theaters. Because it is just like a solid, solid rental. It's like, oh, cool. That's about it. And that's the thing. Like, I... That's the thing. Like, I brought it up in the beginning. Like, the first Hogwarts movies. Like, like I said before, I brought up Star Wars. Like, you're out in this world seeing all this stuff. And I'm like, that's freaking cool. The whole thing with Harry Potter was like, oh, we're at Hogwarts. The magical school. It's like, I don't give a crap. Why do... I don't care about my school. Why on earth do I just want to see someone else? Like, school is just a setup for the actual world. And I want to see the actual world. I want to see these wizards out in this world using their magic. Seeing these high-level wizards, especially using their magic to fight and, like, do all these different things, grow stronger. So, like, I want to see that. And I get some of that in the beginning of this movie. This movie just feels... But then after that, it's just like, eh. It feels like they probably chopped up a lot of this movie. To fit it into two hours. I feel it was probably like a three hour movie. But they trimmed it down. And, and it's really hurtful. Like at one point like. There's this one wizard. Who says that he's apparently related to the Obscurus boy. But then he locks up the girl that Newt likes in this place. And like she's like apparently like writing stuff on the walls. And, like that. and I'm like okay. Well, is she trying to help him with something? Never find out the reason why. And then it also at one point they're like. Oh there's a monster. This monster that escaped the freak show. It could be gone forever, and then it's like, oh, it's right above us. For whatever reason. And then it kind of just cuts the new being up there. It's just like, what? There's a lot of things where it's just like, cut, we're here now. Cut, we're here now. It's just like, why? I I don't understand. I don't. I don't know. It's This movie feels like it's been neutered. It feels like it's been cut down from three hours. I feel like they missed over some giant major plot things. There's no reason to have like all three of like the Deathly Hallows in this. Like it, it's all setting up like, oh, you're, you're, or oh, Dumbledore, your order of friends is like my order. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Like we're just trying to help people. We're not doing anything bad. We're not going against you guys. We're trying to help people. But it's like, oh yeah, they're saying order of the Phoenix or, or like, Oh, we're setting up, like, a whole thing about, like, this guy. And, like, what happened, is going to happen with him? I'm like, it, is this guy going to become Voldemort? Is that what it is? Because I thought Voldemort was another guy. 
in the past, which I think is the case that like Voldemort actually is this other guy, but for all I know, this kid is gonna like merge with the other one and become Voldemort. Also, at one point we see the Philosopher's Stone. I believe we do see the Philosopher's Stone at one point. I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. It's a quick thing, that's kind of cool. But other than that, it's just like, really on a lot of this? Really? I don't know, it's it's not the greatest movie. I'd say wait for it to be a rent, wait for rental. That's what I'd say. Um, but tell me what you guys think down below. Thanks for watching the movies that I've done. Thanks for my Facebook and everything somewhere. And we will. See you later. Turn off the kiss, never kiss! Coolest thing probably is this, I got a pin for the Fathom event, as well as like a poster, and then I just want to get that Elder Wand. And honestly, Johnny Depp is really good in this movie. I, it was, I thought he was very good.